Hello, hello everyone. I saw uh, this sticker from the Austrian punk band Leftovers and I think this is a really nice example for a good filter tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to create these outlines, a smoke effect and with a particle system and yes, if you want to know how this filter works, just try it right here and yes, let's start. Okay, let's start and we start by creating the scene for our project. We start with two rectangles and two different canvas. So the first one is for our background, the, the second one is for our outline. I'll explain later why we need two different canvas. So create a rectangle first, insert. This is one is our background uh, or call this one background color. And this one is all our background canvas. Yes. Make sure that the rectangle is for width and height. And we need a material. This is a new material. Double click on it. Call this one color black. Flat color is black, right, and just go to copy this whole canvas and duplicate this one. And this is our canvas overlay. And this one is our outlines. And we need now to create the outlines. So go to view, show patch editor. And we need from our AR library, patch assets under shader. When you scroll down, you find this sorbel filter. Click on it, import, done. Now I see it right here. Make sure you close the library and drag and drop this one right here. Also, we need for the texture our device and we need for our, uh, for our texture size, we need our device and for our texture, we need the camera texture extraction. Create this one with a plus sign. You see this one right here in our assets, camera texture right here. Link this RGBA texture right to the first texture input. And now we need for this one a divide, divide, patch, go to screen size, output to our texture size. We now swizzle, swizzle, add a swizzle to it, swizzle, and create a uh, link it to our value and now we need a material for our outline go to your outline again go to create a new material outline flat we'll leave it with this color in this case go to texture and add this texture perfect now go to your divide and add two so you see the line bigger two is fine or maybe three i'm not quite sure just how you'll kind of like it and for our the power we may try to may see a little bit more of our uh, lines like um, mouth and nose and also the eyebrows would be nice so go to one and also one, yeah. And you can, can try uh, different solutions, maybe five, uh, you know, uh, eight, for example, like this. Just try whatever you want. If you want to know how to create this outline with another color effect, just watch this tutorial right here. You will enjoy it. 
The next step is we want to make sure that we just have this white eyes um, from our picture we see here. And to create this, this is why we create these two layers. We create a face tracker in between where we add two face meshes in. So go to face mesh. By default, you create also a face tracker. Put it in between these two, call this one eyes, add a material to it, this one also, double click, eye color, for example, flat, in this case we stay with a white color. And we want to make sure, you see, the eyes are cut out. We want to make sure that they aren't, so like this. And create another, a duplicate. This and this. This is our background color. BG color as face match. Make in this case, we add the color black to it. And make sure that the eyes are cut out, but the mouth, if you want the mouth, you can close it. So, But we want to make sure that we see the rest of the lines right here. So go to your output, double click on the material and go to user depth test. Now we see this and also make sure it's screen. Now you have this effect to make sure that if you shift back that you still see the effect of your eyes. Also go to the rest like uh, to our color black and to our eye, eye color And now it's working. Perfect so far. Well done. Next step is we want to start with the particles and we start with the one eye and uh, later on we create a duplicate with that. And we start by creating a particle system. Insert this one, our emitter. emitter. Link it to your face. And we start by, we just add the color the eye color to it, maybe don't call this eye color, just call it um, color white, white, and go to your emitter. This one is for our left eye smoke, for example. Left eye smoke. Yeah, yeah, looks nice. And go to material and go to white like this. And we want to link it to our outside corner of our eye. So we need our face tracker, drag and drop. So we have our face finder, face selection and our face. Go to eye. Lit. Oop. There you have more options. And we add it to our left outside corner. Link it simply to it by going to your properties and go to position. And link one, this one to left outside corner. Yeah. Good. And the next step, uh, it's the best if you just um, follow this one step by step. I tweaked a little bit around and this is the best solution I think works for me. And it's absolutely fine if you work it out differently. So go to your left eye smoke uh, inspector. We create a ring by 0 0.005. Okay. Also, birth rate uh, first uh, of all is one one thousand noise, 
and the speed is by 0.01 and we have a birth rate a difference between for example 50 percent okay this one is fine so far oh there's a warm-up oh didn't see that oh it's that's interesting just try this by 0.1 and a scale is a little bit smaller or way smaller 0 0.05 lifespan 1.5 and also i just also added 50 and 50 and go to your shape and make sure it's sphere so you have this kind of bubbles right here and go to force this one is 0 0.01 <laughs> and <laughs> yeah so it's going up and the strength is uh, 0 0.05 yeah maybe and drag is linear five and rotation i don't know i think it's not necessary maybe a bit more so strength 0 0.05 0 0.1 in the y so now you have this kind of smoke effect and by the lifespan and the speed, I'm not quite sure. Lifespan way too much. I uh, 0.05. Sorry, this is my mistake. Just go to restart. Yeah, okay. We can leave it like that. I want to add a wing to it so it stops short early and then blows up again. So we create an action to our face finder and we add it to our face uh, with an eye. I think it's I left closed. Okay. I left closed. And you can add this to the left and also the right eye if you want to both sides as possible. We create an animation. And we want hmm, restart. We need a pulse restart it so it creates a pulse if i closed is turned on it restarts our animation and when it's off it starts playing and we cause we want a transition from zero to a thousand um, of our lifespan we just need one number for this thousand and progress and go to your left eye smoke, find the birth rate, just at, at this one. We also add in delay by this playing, so duration by one. Yeah. Okay, and these duration is zero point five so it's a little bit slower but we need to reverse reversement makes also no sense we just want to start over again so reset is just we start with uh, zero and if we have our eyes open so the pulse is off we start the play again we want to create this war smoke like effect and for this you need to add a script to it so go to your plus sign and create a script, a JavaScript. Want to learn this tutorial, this one step by step? Watch this tutorial right here so you have a better overview uh, about this script. Uh, but if you don't, I put the script in the description down below. Shift to editor. I use brackets. Just copy this script, find in the description down below and search for our scene, our animation and we search for our root, find first emitter zero. It is left eye 
smoke, copy this one. And for our function, we search for this one in our first position. This is our position zero. So left eye smoke. And we want to create an alpha so that uh, when it goes up, um, it kind of uh, fade out in the animation. Just make sure that there are no spaces or something different in between. Really make sure it seems to be looks like this. Again, this, by the way, this one is brackets. Uh, so if you search for a script editor, brackets is pretty nice. It's for free. And also this, we call this one left eye smoke. Make sure it's also right here. Okay. And this is for our alpha, this one right here. And this size sample, animation sample, easy in is also. Let's try this by saving it. And okay, left eye smoke. What did I do wrong? Maybe need to rename this smoke. It seems to be a, be a problem that I smoke. Let's try this. Okay. Ah, of course, we to rename this one as well. Okay. And now <laughs> I make some mistakes, I'm sorry. Uh, but it's working. <laughs> and we create in this example, you see the difference. I hope you see the difference. It's kind of a smoke uh, effect. So it's fade out a bit. And also uh, I try to um, maybe just add one, for example can also create this effect that it blooms up a bit more. Just try this. This effect is pretty nice. Okay. And the last step will be we just create the second eye. Just command C, command D. Boop. And this one is right eye smoke and we add this one in our position to our left right outside corner we want to make sure that this strength right here is minus 0 0.05 so it's in the other direction also add this blink effect by birth rate to this one right here. We don't need another one. And if you want to make sure that you have more control over the position of your particle filter, watch this tutorial right here, where you create a patch that you gain more control over your position of 3D objects. I just um, add this one to our assets in this case. So import from my computer and is its position object. Ploof right here. Bloop bloop. And this one is pretty nice. For example, I want to make sure it's maybe a bit more up, more, more insert in this case, like right here. here so it's a little bit more inwards the eyeball and once again this one right here and this one is the other direction so last step of course is uh, we need this smoke effect go to your script double click on it 
or maybe it's right here and go to copy this one add it uh, right here this is right by this is our and copy this one one right and again this one right and that's it thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time and um, of course i would love if you share this with everyone who Ding. wants to know this and if you have any questions uh, there's the comment section down below again thank you very much for watching enjoy the process bye bye